Hi there, today we're going to practice subtracting below 5. So to subtract is another word for take away. So we're going to look at some objects and figure out how many is left over when we take some away. So here we have three apples, and we're going to take two of those apples away. One, two. How many apples do we have left? You're right, we have one apple left. We have just one. That's the same as saying we had three apples, we took away two, and we have one left. Look at that, we just subtracted three minus two equals one. Great job. Now let's take a look at another one. Here we have four oranges. One, two, three, four. And we're gonna take away one orange. So we have four of them, and we're going to remove one. One is gone. How many do we have left? Well, we have one here, we have another here, and another here. So we have one, two, three left. That's the same as saying we had four oranges to begin with, and we took away one orange, and then we had three left over. We've written a number sentence that shows the answer of three. We had four to begin with, one, two, three, four. We removed one, and now we have three oranges left. Another way to look at this is to use a number line. So we started at four, and we took away one. We went back one. So we go from four, and we go back one, we land on three. So four, take away one, equals three. Notice that symbol there. That symbol is very important. That's the minus symbol. That means we're removing something. We're taking something away. Let's try another one on our number line. Let's say we had four, and we took three away. Where would we be? So let's use our number line to help us. We're at four. We're going to take away three. One hop. That's one two hops, and three hops. Look at that, we landed on one. Now what would our number sentence be for that? Well, we removed three from it. So we start at our larger number, four, and we're going to use our takeaway symbol, our minus symbol. We went away three, and that equals one. So 4, take away 3 equals 1. Another way you might see your number sentence is like this. 4 minus 3. This line here, when it shows it like this, it means the same as this equals, and it's 1. 4 minus 3 equals 1. Great job. Okay, now that we've practiced with our number line and with our objects, I want you to try and figure out this number here. We have three, and we take away two from it. What would the answer be? Three minus two equals, you guessed it, one. We think about it. We have three objects. One, two, three. We take away two of them. One, two. We're left over with that one. So 3 minus 2 equals 1. Let's do one more. Okay, we have 5 take away 3. So think about that you can draw a picture, or you can count back, or you can use your number line, whichever way works best for you. So 5 minus 3, what would the answer be? First, I'm going to draw up my picture. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I know I'm taking away three. One, two, three. What I'm left over with, one, two. So my answer is two. Okay, so five take away three equals two. So you've been subtracting below five. Don't forget you can draw out a picture. You can use your number line. You're always going to get a smaller number for your answer when you're subtracting. Great job, and I can't wait to talk to you soon about more math.